Hello, this is Victoria Wynn. This is going to be a quick and dirty little class. I'm just dumping my black with a touch of a dark blue teal. Just a spot of white for that eerie mystery. Um, and I'm really just doing a... Um, let's see. My paint is running thick. Um, I'm just doing a quick background, but I thought, uh, I'll shoot it and show you. On the side, I was just doing this, adding a little bit to this mixture. Because um, I just want to get this background done so I could do this super cool demo with you. So a lot of you have talked about how I deal with mistakes, like, first of all, this was a mistake. Um, I really was too impatient to check my paint consistency because I'm so excited about showing you um, some new techniques <laughs> with the Northern Lights powder that uh, I was like, eh, I don't want to check my consistency, which is hilarious for me because I'm a stickler, but I really just wanted to start throwing the, the paint. Um, but anyways, on that topic, though. When I make a mistake, um, we'll see, look, it came out beautiful. Um, there's just no reason to freak out. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Look at that cool little design that I made because I ran out and I had to pour the black on the corners. So um, not a problem. Mistakes happen. No big deal. Ooh, it's coming out so pretty already. Okay, for this, I'm going to take off my gloves for this next part because um, I'm going to be touching some of the powders and of course it will just stick stick to our hands. So right now I am showing you how to use Northern Lights powder. This one is called Borealis Blue and a metallic. My favorite metallics for Northern Lights pieces are copper is a huge huge one and then also let me just show you what I'm doing and then also ooh, see the shine right there on the cup that's why we love it so because of what it's about to do on this dark background golden glow that's a more yellowy gold and also um, rose gold so here is golden glow. It's a, like a 24 karat gold, but it does not have that yellow bird poo look. So yay! It's a little more champagne in color. And then obviously a huge difference with the copper. The copper I'm really loving lately is um, because it looks so incredible next to and bold. Um, Borealis blue and as far as the Northern Lights colors, and then I like to throw in a dash of Atlantic Blue. Here we go, guys. Okay, I really like my design. I'm like, dang, well, what do I do now? We should say screw it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I think I will tap it down that way. Remember, I tilt it and then I tap underneath. And that's how we get that gorgeous organic Northern Lights effect is like so. What if I could tap it this way? Let's see just a little bit what will happen. Also, you can't hold it at the tilt very long or you will, um, you're gonna lose your, your powder. It, you know, the paint's so wet right now. Okay, let's do this again. Even though I love this, I'm doing this anyways. Because I wanted some more blue. Here we go. It is so up to you what angle you're doing this at. Do you see that shine? I love to mix the color shift of the Northern Lights powders 
along with a metallic shine. And like I said, copper is um, one of the absolute most beautiful along with the Northern Lights. I just want to show you the, the shine that it brings out. So we'll have the color shift of Borealis Blue and then the solid bold metallic. Again, the other colors that are really beautiful would be um, Golden Glow. I use some rose gold, but lately it's all about that copper. It's just gorgeous. And it doesn't have like that very orangey Halloween look, at least not my copper. And uh, so we're getting a true, true metallic. I'm trying to think if, if I want anything more. On the side, I have a little more Borealis Blue. Maybe I'll just put a little through here. Or maybe I'm crazy. Maybe both. See, now that was a good decision. I gotta figure out how I wanna tap it. And again, use your intuition, feel it out. I just wanted a bit. So, use your gut, use your intuition, and remember, remember to take a breath before I hit play on this video. Um, I took a real deep breath. This has been a morning that I don't know, I was just struggling more than I, I don't know why, the, why the struggle, but I just kind of woke up weird, you know, sometimes dreams and what have you. So I have to get what I, what I call grounded. And so when I paint, I want to move those emotions onto the canvas, um, and so I kind of need to clear my head for a bit and just say, okay, here we go, Vic. Like, let's, uh, let's pour our soul out right now, right on the canvas. And that takes a few deep breaths. For me, it does. So you'll hear me recommend it in all of my, my courses. There you have it, guys. Looks like I tilted a little too much right here, and I let it tilt too long. So... Um, what's happening is my paint moved through my powder a bit. So if you know me at all, you know that I don't even care. Um, nothing to stress about is my point. So I'm just going to take a little, just sprinkle in this one spot. And done. If it's a little too clumpy, just tap it just a touch. I know, I'm a little violent with my art sometimes. It depends on the day, you know. <laughs> you know how that goes. It's like sometimes you water the garden and other times you're just like spraying like crazy. That's that's me with paint, you know, it depends on the day. Anyways, everybody, let me see if I can get you it's different angles. all about sneak trick of adding copper. Yay! This is a really fun one, everybody. I would love, love for you to share with me what you created by using copper, um, especially because it's magical. Um, maybe you've got some rose gold, but show me what you've done to mix your Northern Lights powders and some metallics of some sort. I love you guys.